Yo, what's good, everyone? It's your boy. I'm in a great mood today because I can finally showcase you guys how to properly play pendulums. And it's really why the whole channel started to help out the entire Yu Gi Oh! universe on how to play pendulum properly. So, if you're excited for this video, smash the subscribe button. Also, hit the like button because at 500 likes, if this video hits 500 likes, I'm actually going to do a how to play budget pendulum video properly who doesn't want to see that this video is gonna have a lot of theory base and lots of knowledge involved so get your thinking five head brain caps on because you're gonna learn a lot and the most number one important lesson i can teach you guys is don't forget to play on a trip game playmat because you play on a servant and demon playmat you're drawing servant and demon and that's just plain fact if you guys like what you see don't forget to sign up on the Trip Gaming membership as well because the deck list is on there as well as 50 plus pendulum replays and knowledge. Basically, this entire video is like a Patreon video. It's basically how all Patreon videos are, extremely knowledgeable and uh, lots of information base. But anyways, with that being said, without further ado, let's go! Pendulum best deck and time to show you guys exactly why. Let's go. <laughs> So I want you guys to pay close attention to our line of play, okay? This deck list is an extender, clean, clean, clean. If it's not an extender or a draw card it is, or a plus card, it has no place in my deck. And that is the secret to playing through hand traps. I talk about it on my Patreon all the time and with the deck list. You must build your deck list for the format to destroy the specific format. And this format, the biggest thing is going to be hand traps for you. So what are you going to do first? You are not going to activate mastery. You are not activating mastery. How many of you would activate mastery right now? Probably 99% of you would activate mastery first. That is 100% incorrect. The whole point of playing on hand traps is to bait out all hand traps. You're going to want to activate cards to make your opponent must negate. So what are you going to do first? You're going to activate Magician Souls. I understand this is not a budget card. Uh, I will be doing a budget option in the future. Let me know in the comments. If we get 10 comments that's saying I want a budget list, I'll do a budget list, okay? 10 comments asking for a budget list. I got you. I'm a man of the people, okay? I'll do I'll do one. Anyways, your first line of blast will be Magician Souls. Next, you are still not going to activate Mastery. Obviously, no one's asking us uh, Souls. But you want to force the force the Ash, like a, a Desires type of card or, or some shit like that. We're going to activate Restage. So we're going to go Anima first and then Restage. We are not going to activate Mastery first. What Restage does for those who don't know, it's like a Monster Reborn for spellcasters under level 3. We built this deck to have 10 cards in the... Th sorry, 13 cards in this deck are special summonable under level 3 monsters that get sent to the graveyard very easily. Whether it be a Link 1 that goes into Anima and then is in the graveyard, or a uh, Spellbook card, Blue Boy that goes in there instantly, or Extenders that get these cards, or Draw cards that get these cards. You have 13 of them. Now, this is why you must play a deck that synergizes perfectly. I explained it on, on the Patreon, blah, blah. Okay, anyways... Your next play is going to be uh, use souls for two. Not for one, for two. Why Why are you doing that? If your opponent Veilers or Imperms right now on the souls, you forced it instantly. Hence, your Crowley is going to resolve. You're drawing two anyways. Reasoning, you don't need in this specific situation. So I'm happily going to send the reasoning. I'm not sending the Lord because you're going to draw four cards with this combo. And this is kind of like a force. Like you're going to, you're, you're going to need to Ash this or Veilers. If they Ash it, which if they don't have the Veiler Imperm, they're Ashing. Hence, your Mastery is resolving. So, just that's why you don't activate the Mastery first. If an Ash is sent here, your Mastery is resolving, you're drawing Infinite because of Crowley, and you're going to do it. Let's assume that they hand trap it. You win. If they Veiler or Imperm this, that means there's no Nibiru. Because this is very important. Listen closely and stay tuned till the end. This is absolute quality, amazing, genius content for you guys. Five head thinking to help you guys play through hand traps. You want to get in the brain of your opponent, okay? Like, get in the brain of your opponent. Why would they Veiler this if they have a Nibiru? Make sense? If they have a Nibiru, they are not Veilering or Imperm. Imperming. So let's say they're going to let this resolve. Now you know there's no Veiler or Imperm. Because you just did a card that said draw two. If Souls for draw two is not getting Veiler or Imperm, they don't have Veiler or Imperm. You could move on. Maybe they're saving an Ash. Or maybe they have Nibiru and Veiler. So we're going to do the next rest of the... If they Veiler this, doesn't matter. Because Crowley's going to draw two. You're going to get two cards like Abductor and Void. And you're just going to auto win. We're going to assume he has Veiler and Nibiru. Which is the biggest issue. 
Yeah, like I said, if he has a Valor, you, you literally just auto win. So we're gonna assume Valor and Nibiru. Valor and Nibiru is a big issue for Pendulums, right? So we're gonna play this uh, the, the best way you should. Now, now look, you have six cards in hand. Uh, he's like, you didn't even do anything yet. We're gonna normal, we're gonna get even more cards. Uh, what we're gonna do now is we're going to now activate the abductor. Don't activate the mastery yet. Save the mastery for after the draws. It's a search card. What if you draw a servant? Uh, you want to wait. I know it's a one up, but there's no value using the mastery now. Wait till the doctor gets three to search your servant and then activate the mastery to resolve both. If knowledge resolves, there's no ash blossom. So now you play through, you know, Valor, Impermanent, Ash aren't there. If they Valor, Impermanent, Ash at any time, you still have six, like, it doesn't matter, you still auto win. I know they, I'm talking fast for you guys, but there's lots of knowledge to take in in terms of how to play Pendulums perfectly and the correct lines of plays because not many people would use these lines of plays. Next, we're going to use Abductor to get Servant. Now, if they don't ash the Abductor, if they don't ash the Knowledge, if they don't ash the Souls to draw to, there's no Ash Blossom. You know this. If they don't Valor, Imperm, there's no Valor, Imperm unless they're saving it for the Nibiru. So now your, your your goal is to play through Nibiru Valor. Not just to play through Nibiru, but to play through Nibiru Valor. Are you going to allure? All right. Now you have six cards and now you're going to activate Resolve Servant. They don't have, he does not have an Ash Blossom because Ash was not used on those cards already. Uh, and if the Servant was in scale, maybe they save it, but the Abductor was in scale, not a Servant. Hence, there's no Ash. So now you're going to summon Servant and Jackal. Now they're thinking, all right, they don't know you have the second Jackal. They don't know you have the second Jackal. They're thinking, I'm, he has five cards in hand. Obviously, I'm not going to Valor Nibiru now. I'm going to Valor Nibiru after. Let's say you did not have the Jackal in hand. The next line of play would be uh, Crowley and Servant into Selene. Selene, special blue boy. This is only, you always want to play through Valor Nibiru. This is uh, the next level of thinking. People just play through Nibiru. That is incorrect. You must play through Valor and Nibiru. What do they Valor your Jackal? You don't want to auto lose. Especially in a format where uh, if one Jackal survives, you win against Needle Fiber decks because Needle Fiber decks suck. Uh, you go Selene. Selene Special Blue Boy, and then, sorry, uh, Selene Special Mighty Master, and then if they don't, uh, Nibiru Valor right away, because you have five cards in, why, why would they? The Mighty Master and the, the Selene are going to an Appaloosa. You'll then have an Appaloosa and a Jackal. You will then Pendulum Summon Appaloosa, Jackal, Master from Extra, Master from Hand, and a Jackal, and a Right Hand. That ends on six negates through Nibiru and Valor, but you have a Jackal in hand, so there's no reason to. We're going to have somebody Selene to make space for the Pendulum Summon, and we're going to Pendulum Summon all of these. If he has Nibiru Valor, nice try. You're gonna need Nibiru Valor Imperm. Oh wait, that's still not enough because you have a Mighty Master. <laughs> so even through all that, they still can't do anything. There was no one time at any point in this whole combo where if they hand trap you, it meant nothing in the slightest. Why? Because we played it perfectly. We played it so perfectly and our deck was built for this format where all extenders and normally in other decks, let's say there was Cerberus. What if they ash a Cerberus and you have Cerberus Institution? Bro, you're summoning Jackal Passing, bro, at best. Because open Servant and Abductor. But uh, this one is going to show you guys like a, a, an idea and line of play of how to play perfectly. So what are we going to do first? We're going to normal the Abductor. I, uh, you look at Secrets and then you go, Secrets, oh my god. I'm going to normal Secrets right now. I'm going to normal the Secrets. I'm going to summon... I'm sorry, I'm going to activate Secrets. I'm going to normal summon Blue Boy. And it's going to get Valor. If it gets Valor or Imperm, your restage is dead. You have to learn how to play your deck perfectly. 99% of you would just activate Secret Servant in scale, keep the Abductor in hand, and activate Secrets, go Blue Boy. What do we get Valor and Imperm? You don't want that. So what are we going to do instead? We're going to play Smart. We're going to Servant, we're going to Abductor, we're going to go Double Restage. We're not even revealing the Secrets. I don't want my opponent to know I have Secrets, okay? We're going to resolve Crowley before the Secrets is resolved, uh, which a lot, a lot of you would not have done that. We're going to activate Servant here. Let's say Servant gets Ashed here. Fan, absolutely fantabuloso. Thank you. Because that means your Abductor is res resolving, and you win. Effect summon Jackal. Next, search Magician Souls with Abductor. Special the Magician Souls. We're playing through the Nibiru here. Go Crowley. Even if the Nibiru Valor, you're restaging the Souls. Your Souls Anima. Uh, second restage special back to Souls. You're gonna go Crowley again. Like <laughs> it just like it's just crazy uh, the stuff this deck could do. We're gonna go uh, just like that. We normal summon. But the blue, this public engine is still going to resolve to draw two without even wait. We're just going to wait to get rid of the card in our hand. We're going to go into a free Selene there. We're going to use Souls to draw two. Uh, we're going to add Restate, uh, right hand. I just didn't do that yet. Sorry about that. We're going to, right hand is in our hand. We added it from Restage. We're just going to go off here. I realize around now that I didn't add it, so I'm going to add it in a bit. We Pendulum Summon. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, we Pendulum Summon the Time Gazer and Mighty Master absolutely like this. Because I want to summon the Mighty Master over here to this zone. Uh, pop the time gazer. 
and then it's uh, going to cross sheep. Uh, and again, if they Nibiru any time, didn't matter. Uh, fax summon, and I realized at this point I forgot the right hand, so I just added it. Even we meant to add it earlier. Summon, and we're gonna have seven negates, eight negates very easily. So that is just a little combo tutorial and idea of how to combo. Make sure to have all these cards in your extra deck. In the main deck, make sure to play two blue boy. Uh, it's my biggest tip because if they veil their imperm the blue boy the first time, it, it doesn't matter in the slightest. You can still Crowley. That's the video. I hope you guys like it. If you guys like the video, smash the subscribe button. Smash the like button. Let's get 500 likes. Check out the beautiful Trip Game Play Mets, Servant, and uh, Celine, and Triple Electrum. And check out the membership uh, down below if you want to check out the deck list and more replays on the deck. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.